Hey, what's going on? Let's go to class or uh, Eric. Um, <clears throat> I just got done watching your video driving on Salvia. And the title intrigued me because I was like, is this kid really going to try and drive on Salvia? Because I know that every time I smoke Salvia, I am rendered physically useless to the, uh, to the world around me. I mean, I, I couldn't even get up off the couch and locate my keys, walk out of the door, out of the gate, walk all the way down the sidewalk, put the keys in the car door hole, unlock the car door, open the car door, sit down, put on my seatbelt, and start the car up safely. That would be the most astronomically impossible thing to do on Salvia I'd ever seen. So then I was like, oh, well, he skipped all those steps and he got into his car first. And I was like, oh, man. I was really worried at first. Like, like he's just going to, like, he's going to hurt someone. Like, he's going to hurt himself and he's really going to, you know, because uh, you do, some people have that, that few m seconds of clarity right when they exhale. And I figured, like, maybe we're going to use that to start the car up and s just start driving. And after you took that first hit, you sat down and you held it for a minute and you kept talking and you had those moments of clarity and I was like, oh man, any minute now he's going to start that car, any minute now. And then you're like, <coughs> like, well, I'll be right back. And that was uh, pretty funny. Um, and then it, it became quite apparent that what you were doing was you were proving to maybe to uh, naysayers about Salvia or the federal government who is trying to pass bills to to to, uh, to criminalize the users of Salvia, um, and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think Salvia um, should be decriminalized at all. I mean, should be criminalized at all. Uh, it is a recreational drug, and in my opinion, it is like getting a tattoo. It is really cool. It's a unique experience, but it's not one you want to do every day. It's definitely not. It's definitely not like like other drugs. I don't consider salvia a drug. It's an experience. Um, it's something that's on a whole other plane. It goes beyond uh, any other hallucinogen. It is the most powerful hallucinogen on the planet. So it's not something you want to be doing all the time. Uh, also. Um, you know, I've had my share of, uh, of trips. I smoked for the first time uh, in my backyard. I just smoked the, uh, the leaves, or just the 1X. I got an ounce of leaves, and I just smoked those, and I would stuff uh, uh, hollowed-out cigarettes with them, and I would just smoke it down. And, but he always used to make my feet feel funny, like when I was walking, and I was completely functional. It was technically 1X. Um, and then I got brave and decided to uh, uh, to buy 20X, and I bought that and I smoked it for the first time. And uh, Jeffrey Giraffe, the mascot of Toys R Us, and um, Big Bird um, chased me around my apartment. Uh, they chased me up the stairs, and by the time I came to, I had no idea how I even got from the living room couch up the stairs. It was pretty ridiculous. Um, and like the roof opened up in my in my apartment, and I'm I, li I, I live in a two-story apartment or like a condo or whatever, uh, and the second story like everything the roof opened up, and my couch and my television and like my computers and everything was just getting sucked out, like sucked out, and I would like close my eyes and like really concentrate on it, and then open them and they'd still be there, and then it would start to lift again and get sucked out. And at that point, I think it's when I ran upstairs. And, uh, my roommate at the time, uh, Chris, he had his room over here, like, on the end of the hallway, and I, I put my head up against the, uh, door jam in the hallway, and I would look, because I would see his guitar and his amp and things start floating out, out of the, out of the house, and it just kept repeating itself, and I, like, looked, and I would focus, I'd be like, okay, okay, stuff's still there, stuff's still there, you know, and, um, eventually I went to my bedroom and went to the sink and started washing my face. I don't know why I would wash my face. I would just wash my face. And I'm pretty sure I washed my face because when I woke up or when I came to, the sink was running and I um, had a wet face. So, um, 
anyway uh, but it it was it, it felt like it felt like a really large hand from the from the universe was coming down and reading a book of my life and they had just gotten to this chapter and they didn't want to read it anymore and like this was the last chapter and they were just like ripping up pages going backwards like they'd started they started from like today you know like the present day and were like ripping pages out going backwards like I saw I was seeing my whole life flash over my eyes in a rewind mode um, because the same scenes were repeating over and over and over like the same frames but they were like a little bit different but anyway um, that was just one of my uh, my salvia trips and I, I definitely um, uh, commend you on your uh, on your project it's really cool and uh, I'm glad I stumbled across it because like I said I had my doubts and I was going to be really pissed and be really pissed off uh, video comment because I, I don't want the federal government touching that because I mean and I only do it probably like maybe four times a year if even that uh, and if you're gonna and it's one thing you can do you could trip out you could trip out you go on another plane you go meet some new people you know what I'm talking about and you laugh and you have a good time and sometimes the trips aren't so good but you do it and it's fun and it's good times but you don't do it every weekend you don't do it with a large humongous group of people and you just you know it's a, it's a very chill uh, experience and it's very a uh, spiritual experience and it's not something that can be uh, that I want taken away by the DEA or or uh, anybody for that matter so <clears throat> hopefully uh, if anyone tries to say that Salvia users are a hazard to uh, the public no they're not How, the Salvia users are not even hazards themselves you pretty much stay put when you're on Salvia and if you go anywhere you stay within the confines of your house because you do not understand or comprehend the world around you you do not comprehend doorknobs you do not comprehend windows you do not comprehend keys and ignitions and turning and it, it's too much for your brain you go back to your primordial or to excuse me to your the, to your brain your your just your ape brain your evolutionary survival mode and you just the most basic brain of yours comes forward and the other part of your brain that is used for everything else is just used to make you hallucinate but anyway so there's my video like that's one of my trips I've had and uh, just my thoughts on it and my thoughts on your video and I just uh, wanted to commend you like I said good job and uh, hopefully uh, people will see this and be a little bit more educated about the drug or not really a drug about the about the plant and understand that it is a hardcore uh, experience but it, it's not anything for the feds or the government in general to be worried about as far as people getting hurt on it um, or impairing people to do anything because it impairs you to the point it impairs you to a 99 percent of uh, being able to do anything so take care of yourself and uh, like I said really enjoyed your video and um, I look forward to uh, seeing more and uh, take care of yourself